Good day, good people. Why am I standing here naked on the beach, you ask? Because today, I'm going to show you how to get started in Survival Plus. Okay, we have a Bronto walking around on our base, but you know, hey. So, the reason I'm here to do this with you guys today is because... Well, you've seen me doing some of the basics as I go along, but uh, there's been a lot that happened off camera. Plus, Nogo already had learned a bunch of things. Whoa, Sunbloom had already learned a bunch of things, so there were things you didn't see. So I wanted to show you how to get started and survive in the Survival Plus mod. So just like in Vanilla Arc, the first thing you do when you wake up and finish scratching your arm is you're going to want to run around and grab some rocks. The next thing you're going to want to do after you've grabbed a couple of rocks is punch some trees. And you notice you get bark. Ah, but I got a piece of wood. So now that I get a piece of wood, I'm going to craft the club. You don't have to learn this with ingram points. This is one of the default things you learn just like the pickaxe in vanilla. So it's already there ready to be built. And once you have that built, now you're ready to go. Now you can pound on things, hopefully get more wood. Or, in that case, not. Yeah, there we go. Now we got some more wood. The other thing you're going to want to do, of course, just like in vanilla, is uh, go get some plants. Now, these aren't quite the source of food that they are in vanilla. You're not really going to be able to stay alive uh, with just the plants. As you notice, I'm getting some berries, but what I'm getting a lot of are plant parts. Now, you might ask, what are plant parts? Well, plant parts are what allow you to make both fiber and if you let them sit in your inventory for a period of time, they dry out and become thatch. So those are the two ways you can use plant parts. So the first thing we're going to do is, if we go again to our crafting menu, fiber. That's also one of the default things that's right there. You don't have to spend any ingram points to learn it. So now you can start building that. So your first ingram points, where are you going to spend them on? Well, you're going to want... The, the stone hatchet, of course, and you're going to want a stone knife, and yes, the sharpened flint is helpful, the, the fire making, the spear, and the campfire. The problem is you can't learn all of these in one go. So I, I took the hatchet, of course, because that means that I can get resources better. Uh, the stone knife will also let me get a lot more fiber a lot faster, so that's really good to learn. And now you kind of got to decide... Uh, I think at that point, I think you only get six points or something in the beginning. So yeah, you got to decide, am I going to go for the spear or am I going to go for fire? I think there wasn't quite enough uh, uh, points to be able to get the whole fire thing. So I think I went for the spear first and went for, for campfire in level two. But as you might have noticed, I can now build the pickaxe. This is also a default thing you don't need to spend anything on. So now, once I've got the pickaxe, put that in my inventory. This is going to be just like Vanilla Arc. Uh, I need to find some rocks. Oh, here's rocks right here. I can now start to get some flint. And stone, like I said, I get picking up from the beach. So now that I've got some flint, what do I need to make the axe? Uh, I don't call it an axe. Hatchet? <laughs> there we go. Um, plant string and sharpen flint. Oh, so see, that brings us back to the engram. First thing you want to learn is sharpen flint, stone knife, hatchet, spear. Then go back and learn uh, the fireplace. So, okay, you're probably thinking, uh, let's see, let me try this again. Sorry, this is going to be a little bit rambling. I'll try to edit it down. Iron ore you may get, uh, you, you just don't need it yet. So, weight is not such an issue. As you can see, even if I have a lot of stone and stuff, my weight doesn't go up as much because uh, you start right off with 140 weight. So it doesn't matter uh, if you hold on to the iron ore, but you don't really need it. So the hatchet. Ah, so I now can make my sharpened flint. So I'm going to make some sharpened flint. Um, yeah, sure, let's just craft it all. And the stone knife. What do I need for the stone knife? I need wood. So I'm going to take my axe, which I still don't have yet. Um, give me, oh, I'm so stupid. Use your club. The club will give me stuff. Yes, now I've got wood. 
Now I can go and I can make my axe. I hope. No flint. Oh, because I crafted it all. <laughs> so, that's the next thing you learn. Don't craft all your flint. Leave a little bit of it. <laughs> Don't turn it all into sharp stuff. So good. Now I got flint. Now I can finally make my axe. Good. So, since I've let some plant parts dry in my inventory. I now have that one piece of thatch I need. I have the flint I need and I have stone so I can now make a fire starter. Now the thing is the fire starter only it, it's used. You, every time you light a fire you use a fire starter so you're going to need more of those. Uh, go ahead and get that again. Two. Now I can start getting wood. You still get bark, but now I'm getting wood as well. So I'm definitely going to need lots more fiber, lots more plant parts so I can get some more thatch, etc. So I'm going to come over here and get a bunch of these. So the next thing we're going to want to check out is we don't need the perma. What we need is the stone knife. So yes, we have fiber. Make, uh, let's go ahead and make the stone knife. I'm make one. Now the stone knife, some tools stay in your inventory and you don't have to equip them. Other tools you do have to equip or you can equip. And this knife should be one of them. Ah oh, yeah, I already have it on my hotkey. So now with this, I can get a lot more plant parts. Okay, and these plant parts will go ahead and now turn into fiber again. While that's crafting up, we'll come over here and we'll get ourselves some more wood, because I'm going to need some more wood. And we're going to need some more rock, so we'll get some more rock. So if I want to be able to make any armor, <laughs> what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to be able to sew, which means I'm going to need thread, which is why I'm right now making all that fiber. And from the fiber, I can then make string. But watch what happens when I start to say craft one. Oh, I need a wooden spindle. So we got to find our spindle. Luckily that just needs one piece of wood. And I have one of those. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to craft two. Um, because they break if you're making lots of thread. So now I can go back. And now I can start making all my string. We're crafting as much of that as we can for right now. And again, I'm slow. So we'll get some more wood. And let's see, I'll probably make... Can I make the fireplace yet? Yes, so I'll make one fireplace. And I'll make another one of those lighters if I can. We'll look at my inventory. 60 wood, so yeah, I'm getting good started. You can also burn bark in the fireplace, so that's also very helpful. I think for demonstration purposes, I will just slap my fire down here as soon as it gets finished make, being made. Might take a little bit. So I am getting slowly thirsty. If you run, you're going to get thirsty faster. So in the beginning, you probably don't want to sprint unless you have to. Uh, as you see, I'm also getting a little hungry. I can eat some berries, but I don't have very many berries. So not much you can do. So narca berries are the same, uh, they have a different name, Atro Atropa berry, and these here, the Gorana berries, they're basically the stem berry. I haven't really used them yet, but if you eat them, you will get, um, uh, you know, thirsty, so keep that in mind as well. Good. So now I'm building the fireplace, I hope, and we're going to just put that out right here. So we're going to put in the fireplace, we're going to put uh, the bark, because I don't really need a bark uh, right now. And now we can start looking at what else we can craft. So let's look at the ingram points again. The next thing you're going to be able to learn is the spear. So let's go ahead and build some spears. Uh, I'm going to make all six. I like to carry lots of spears with me because they do break. And I like to throw them as well because they do more damage. So if you're going to be throwing them, then you, you need a lot. Yeah, so now we've got our spears. And I'm going to show you a next important trick. Uh, I showed you this kind of this. This came up in the video. But, okay, we're going to light our fire. See, it removed the fire making kit. And we're going to put our spears in here. So right now it's just a wooden spear. But wait a few seconds and let's see what happens. 
it turns into a burnt spear and that burnt spear has a stronger has more durability so when you get your spears made you're gonna want to put them on the fire for a little bit so now we need to find something to take out with our new spears I'm not gonna fight that it will kill me okay here's a dilo I can try the dilo hopefully it's not too high level Oh, no, Pigomastics. Oh, no. Oh. What did he steal from me? He stole my stone knife. That's level 116. I'll never be able to kill it. Oh, I can't see. Oh. Talk about failure. I think I killed it, but I just really can't see. Ah, oh, good. Okay, so now we can break out our axe. And yes, we got a small animal bone. Perfect. Just what we needed. All right, let's run back to the fireplace. Oh my goodness, I tell you. And uh, we'll show you the next steps once we get to some place that's, uh, you know, almost safe or something. We'll cut down a couple more trees so we can get some more wood. So we can make some more spears. Yeah, so survival in the beginning is a really slow process. I almost recommend not trying to venture too far. In Ark, you can venture really far. But I think in Survival Plus, yeah, emphasis is on survival. Uh, you might want to just set up a little camp someplace close by and get yourself situated because it's going to take a little bit of time. So now I can cook up a tiny bit of meat at least. Uh, I can put some wood on here. And I can craft some more spears. Ooh, not very many. And so the next thing I've learned is sharpened bone. But I can't make the sharpened bone, can I? No, because I need the stone knife. So we have to first make the stone knife, which is here. There I need sharpened bone. How do I make sharpened bone? Craft one. If I, oh, I, oh, that's right, the Pagomastic stole my stone knife. Oh, those guys. So annoying. I really do not like those guys. Okay, now it's getting all dark. Good, I got stone. Get back to my fire here. And we'll go ahead and craft our stone knife again. So, craft one. Now that I've got that, I can make this. Um, yeah, I'm going to craft all two. And now I can make the bone knife. And with the bone, oh, uh, I should have saved the one bone to make a needle. Oh, I'm an idiot. Now I gotta go kill something else. Okay, <laughs> I tell you what, guys, we're gonna wait till morning, and I'll join back with you then. Okay, we're back. Throughout the night, I went and I crafted up a bunch more spears. So now we're on to the next step of the process. Oh, I'm also making more thread <laughs> as I'm moving slow. The next step of the process is we need to get more hide. Ah, good, we got more bone. Good, so now I'll show you the other thing we need to make is a needle. Bone needle. We'll make two of those. So now that we've got the bone needle, we can make a sewing kit. Uh, and I'm going to just make one for now. I can't remember how many I need to make uh, leather armor. Let's go look real fast. Uh, my leather armor. Oh, here we go. I just need plant string. Okay, but I need a sewing kit or a bone needle, so that's good. All right, so let's continue going along here and seeing what we can get.
Okay, so we're back from all that gathering adventure. We're gonna slap our meat on here. We're gonna light our fire. And now I'm gonna show you the next step. So, to make our leather, let's see if we can do this in this. To make our leather, what we're gonna need is we need hide strips and hide. So we're gonna have to make lots of hide strips and for the hide strips, you need the bone knife. That's why we had to get the bone to make the bone knife. So we're gonna make some hide strips. Uh, I don't wanna make all of them because I need to keep some leather for other things. Let's start with just 25. Meanwhile, as you saw, I also hacked up a ton of fiber. So we're gonna make a bunch of that so that we can then go ahead and make a bunch of string, which we have to wait till the fiber's ready. So yeah, hang tight while everything's crafting. There's a lot of crafting time in this game. Okay, so we now have enough hide strips. We can start building stuff or making stuff while we're still making more string. So first thing you know, we'll start with pants. We'll make one of those. And for that, I need then, like I said, I need the sewing kit or I need the, this, uh, what are they called? The plant string. And I need a bone needle, and my bone needle will break after a certain amount of time. So I want to make sure I have some, you know, some bones in reserve, which I do. Uh, I can go ahead and make, well, I can't make another needle because it'll take too long right now. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and make myself a shirt. And we'll make myself some shoes. And I still have enough. We'll make ourselves a hat. Ha! I have enough to make a whole set. And I got leftovers to make bolas. Well, no, I... Do I? Bolas are your best friend on this map. Uh, if a raptor's coming after you, if a saber's coming after you, if something's coming after you, you want a bola, because then you can stop it and run, because fighting is not so easy in this mod. So again, we'll just wait here for a second, and then I'll get dressed and say my goodbyes. Okay, we got the armor finished. Let's get those pants on, get ourselves a shirt on, some shoes. Oh, I didn't make gloves, did I? Oh, let's see if I can actually still make the gloves as well. Yes, I can make the gloves. We're going to make one pair of gloves, and then uh, we will be complete. Yes, and I even got a level. What do you know? Okay, everybody. So now you know how to survive your first couple days in Survival Plus mod. You got to get that club of clubbing. You got to get that axe of hacking. You got to get that pick of picking. You got to... Start throwing some spears, get those things in the fire, get them hardened, get some hide, cut some hide, get some bone, so you can cut the hide. Yeah, there's lots to do. I hope I covered it all in here. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below and I'll answer them as best I can. Until then, I say goodbye, good people, and I'll catch you when I catch you.